Hey guys, it's me, Denise and Mochi, and today is May 2nd, 2020, and right now we are outside in our backyard because it's like 75 degrees outside and it's very sunny, and it's really nice outside, but I'm just going to show you guys an update of our garden. So over here we have stra our strawberries, and then over here we have our gooseberries. And then over here we have another gooseberry like thing. This is a temporary pot. We're gonna move it later. And we have also two lettuce. And this is our Rainier cherry tree. There's lots of flowers, which means that there's gonna be a lot of fruit. Here is our giant papyrus. We took it in during the winter, but it didn't survive, so it's dead. And over here, we're planning on making it all vegetables and fruit, but it's not planted yet. And here we have peppers, and I'm going to show you how to top it off so you can get abundance. So this is how we top them off. You just cut right there. Oh no! Oops, I killed it! So just like I said, how to top off, you just cut off the top and this will make it so that it grows more branches, which means more harvest. This is our beef steak perilla. We have a red perilla, which is red shiso, and this is the American version. And over here, as you can see, we have a lot of potted vegetables or potted plants. And we're going to make this our main vegetable garden. And those are spinach. And they're perfect right now. So I think we're going to have some for our salad this evening. And over here we have different varieties of lettuce. And this is another pepper. And I'm going to top it off right now. And in that pot we have cilantro seeds and here's another pepper I'm gonna tap that one off too <laughs> and this is Ichiban Japanese eggplant now let's walk more towards this way we got more young spinach over here and we have another bucket of young spinach and lettuce and then over here, we're gonna have another pot that is gonna be growing chocolate mint. This is peppermint, and this is sweet mint and spearmint. And the reason why we're growing so many different mints is because in the winter, we like to drink homemade, organically grown. And over here, we have two buckets. I'm not sure if it's young spinach or if it's lettuce. And there's another bucket. And this is our goji berry. And we have two more peppers over here that I'm going to top off. And here comes Mochi. And I guess all the peppers got their hair cut. And here's a view of our container garden area. And this is our koi pond, but my dad will do a separate video on that. We have two plum trees over here. And this, I don't remember. I need to look back. I don't know if it's an apple or pear tree. And look, guys. Our jewel carmine cherries came back to life. Pretty flowers. Hopefully they're fruits. This will also double as our monarch butterfly 
habitat because my dad already planted some milkweeds in here and we might get some butterflies this year. This is our cobbler apple tree, but we haven't been getting apples for the past few years. And this is our peach tree. My dad might have to spray it though because it kind of looks like it had a disease. And over here we have two Japanese Shinko pear trees and they're full of flowers which, you, which means that they'll be full of fruits. And here's our grape arbor. My dad will have to fix it though because it's wobbling. But if you come close, you can see that it's budding. This is our raspberry garden. My dad cleaned it up a bit so we should be good for this season. My dad cleaned up that area and he got rid of the thorn blackberries. It wasn't really producing and it was hard to get in there because the thorns were too big. But we are planting some thornless blackberries in this area. And that's Bear. Bear likes to join us when we're gardening. We also planted some hardy kiwi in here, but I don't think it's gonna make it. And then we have currants over here and some gooseberries that my dad trimmed over there. And there's a lot of little ones, so my dad is going to dig them up, pot them, and then give them away. We're slowly digging up our strawberry patch and putting them in our other patch. And over there in the corner we have some garlic chives. And look guys, the bees are back in the sea. Oh my god. And these are our currants. We have red currants over there and white currants over there. And now let's walk through the leaning tower of our grape arbor. My dad is gonna clear this up later in the week because this is going to be another vegetable area. This is our bonfire peach. There's not many flowers, which means that there's gonna be less fruits. And that's our other strawberry patch. And my dad did some cuttings of some fruits because people wanted them. This is raspberries, currants, gooseberries, and grapes. And in two weeks, we're gonna give them away because some of our friends wanted them. And there's our compost area. We've been taking some soil from it. And here's another pepper plant that needs to be topped off. And that's it for our garden. I'll give you guys an update later in the summer. Well guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and give a thumbs up. Bye. <laughs> Jessa needs to get your dad. <laughs> it looks horrible. It looks horrible, but you know what? It'll cover. <laughs> Go ahead for the